Oh no, I'm in purgatory. Oh, wait, there's pizza. Purgatory Pizza is located on the corner of First and Utah, just across the street from the train station. It's a super cool looking pizzeria, extending the vibe coming from the Arts District down the street on the other side of the LA River. They have a small parking lot that currently is serving double duty as a makeshift dining area. Even though I was unable to go inside the place, from right to left, there is a dining area, an ordering counter with a display case on top featuring their slices of the day, followed by the pizza oven and pizza making station. How's it going, buddy? Where they were hard at work making pizzas. I wish I could have gotten a better look at their pizzas, but I was sure most of them were vegetarian and vegan. That is their specialty. Of course, they have meat options as well, but not as many as they have vegetarian and vegan. So if that's your thing, this might be your pizzeria. And I don't eat meat because <laughs> I'm a veterinarian. Oh, boy. Fortunately for me, they had what I was looking for, and I ordered my two slices for the challenge. I went ahead and ordered a third slice, which is a vegetarian slice. Granted, it's not the kind of slice I usually go for, but they recommended it, so I agreed to give it a try. Besides, it's just vegetarian. It's not like I'm going full vegan or anything. I partake not in the meat, nor the breast milk, nor the ovum of any creature with a face. The slices looked pretty good, but they were so hot that some of the cheese slid off a bit. Other than that, the sauce to cheese ratio looked on point. The cook was nice and I like that the pepperoni was cupping and crisping up. There was even a sprinkle of herbs on top, but just on the pepperoni slice. The crust had a decent cook to it and folded really well, but there was absolutely no crisp and I could have used a bit more chew. And while it tasted pretty good, it was a tad on the salty side. The sauce and cheese were all right, but I wish the sauce had more flavor as these slices were a bit saucy. Don't be saucy with me, Bernays. The pepperoni slice was better and I like the added flavor and spiciness. But this slice had the same crust as the cheese slice and I was left wishing it was crispier and less salty. I moved on to the midnight in the garden slice. It smelled delicious. The aroma of garlic was coming through very strong, but the slice also has spinach, Roma tomato, red onion, goat cheese, and fresh basil. I'm not a huge fan of goat cheese, and that was the first thing I tasted. But as I kept eating, the slice got better and better. All of the toppings tasted very good, and by the time I got to the end, that goat cheese flavor seemed to blend in just fine with everything else. And to my surprise, the crust on this slice had some crispiness. Not much, but some. And it definitely was an improvement. As New York style pizza goes, Purgatory Pizza didn't blow me away or anything. But I love how focused they are on vegetarians and vegans, and happen to know a lot of people who would absolutely love this place. Besides, my vegetarian slice was pretty good, and if vegetarian and vegan pizza can be as delicious as any other great pizza out there, then who knows, maybe one day I'll be a vegetarian or vegan. Ovo lacto vegetarian, maybe. If you have tried Purgatory Pizza, let me know what you thought of it in the comments. And if you know of a place I should try next, be sure to let me know that too. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time on Two Slice Challenge.